chill. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I know I've been MIA for a month now or more. Yeah. I did have some personal issues. I didn't want to sit here, talk to you and be in a bad mood because that would look completely horrible. I'm not going to talk about it because it's way too personal. Long story short, sometimes you have to let some things go to be completely normal yourself again and this is what I am now. So today I decided to do some really fun, funky festival kind of look and since I never been to Coachella, I I googled a little bit, I watched the other people on YouTube, Instagram, and I found my inspirations, like few of them, but my biggest inspiration was by Brookell on Instagram. I'm gonna show you her picture, so you're gonna see what I'm talking about. So this is the look that she created. It's so freaking pretty, look at that. So amazing, it's so pretty, and I did it. I mean, it's not completely the same, obviously, but I did, yeah. Overall, it's so cute. My, my mom even said, oh my God, you look so cute. I was like, thank you. Anyway, I'm not gonna ramble too much because I think I overpassed like two minutes, right? I'm not sure, but yeah, um, stay tuned and watch the tutorial. First things first, I'm just gonna remove my hair. Okay, I'm going to start with L'Oreal True Match Foundation and my shade is Golden Beige always have been, still is. I tanned yesterday specifically for this video. Okay, yeah, it is too light. But right now I don't have darker foundation, so shit. I'm taking the Sigma Flat Kabuki brush and I'm just gonna blend everything. Yeah. I'm using the NARS in Custard, my favorite concealer of all time. And it highlights as well, so it's a win-win. Ah, oh, a new person. I'm gonna highlight on the bridge of my nose, like so. Baba boom. And I'm taking the uh, Sigma Concealer Blend Kabuki Brush. I'm taking my Laura and, and I'm gonna set my under eyes, Sigma Spotlight Duster Brush. So the other powder I'm using is NYX No Filter. It's the same one I'm using in every video. And this one is in shade medium, uh, medium olive. So this shade is totally perfect for my tan skin at this point. And I'm using the Multitask Brush by Real Techniques. So basically I'm applying this everywhere on my face where I didn't conceal. Now I'm taking my Anastasia and I'm gonna use this middle shade here. I always use this shade for contouring and especially for my nose. Taking my very old brush I have from Inglot Cosmetics, you can actually tell it's done, still working. It's like very straight and thin, perfect for nose contour. And what I always like to do, I'm just pulling two straight lines on both sides of my nose and connecting to my brow. First, it's gonna look unnatural, very fake looking and obvious, but later I'm gonna blend. And the thing I like to do is I'm just closing the lines with, with the line here, like that, okay? This is going to shorten up my nose, like that, to make them look lifted. Good. And I'm com I'm, <laughs> I'm coming back, coming back. I'm going back to this concealer blend brush and I'm gonna go over it a little bit until it's blended enough. 
And I'm taking uh, Real Techniques brush once again and this powder, and I'm just gonna go over everything. Now I'm taking this first shade here and pencil brush by Sigma. I'm gonna apply it in the middle here, like that, and a little bit onto the tip of my nose, like so. Now I'm taking my Jouer Suntan Bronzer and I'm gonna bronze my entire face. And I'm taking my Dose of Colors Tapered Blush Brush and yeah, and just bronze. Today I received this amazing product from Offer Cosmetics and this is actually a collab with Nikkei Tutorials and it's called Everglow. It's a highlighter, obviously. But I think I'm gonna go with this shade here. It's a beautiful, light golden, champagne-y kind of shade. So let's get started. I think it's gonna be amazing. Guys, this is so freaking pretty. Look at that. Awesome. I'm gonna apply it onto my collarbones as well. Yeah, girl. What a difference. <laughs> okay, like that. Oh, so, so pretty. Okay, so now that I look like a glazed donut, I mean, don't be fooled, that's what I wanted. I can do the eyes now. I'm starting off with tan lines by Makeup Geek Cosmetics. And I'm taking the Sigma Blending E25 brush for this. Like all the way to here. As you can see, I'm starting to blend. The next shade I'm taking is this Coco Bear. As you can tell, this is one of my favorite bronze shades from Makeup Geek Cosmetics. And I'm going to top the first shade with this one, like so. Now I'm taking the Tapered Blending Brush E35 and I'm gonna blend this ends here. Oh my God, guys, it's so strange to film again. I mean, it's always strange because you're sitting in, in a quiet room, nobody's talking, there's no music, and you just basically film yourself while doing makeup and, um, and you're talking to yourself. I mean, I'm talking to you, but you know what I mean. So strange. Oh, I really hope this look is gonna turn out good. I'm taking this Morocco shade uh, from Makeup Geek Cosmetic and Makeup Geek Cosmetics as well. This is a beautiful peachy shade. I'm just going to use it and apply like here on my transition to add more of a warmth. And I'm going to use a BH Cosmetics big fluffy blending brush for that. Okay, so now I'm taking the JD Glow Cosmetics eyeshadow and shade brownie. I'm taking the Sigma Airbrush Blender F63. Drama, drama, drama. Going back to this brush with uh, Coco Bear leftovers, and I'm gonna go over over this brownie shade. I'm taking the the Balm Concealer Lighter Than Light, and you're gonna see what I'm gonna do right now. I'm taking the Shader Lid E56 brush. Now I'm just gonna pull some straight line to define to define my crease, to define my crease, um, to define my lid. And we're gonna do a halfway there <laughs> crease. I don't even know how to call this, but you know what I mean? not concentrate like talk and doing this so I'm just gonna do it and you're gonna see to the middle like somewhere up to here and I'm just gonna blend a little bit the ends see and now I'm taking this new palette from Jouer Cosmetics and I'm using the true gold so basically that's the color in here. This is one of the most pigmented and creamy palettes I own, so good. I'm taking the cream color brush. The concealer that we applied like previously is going to act as a base or as a glue for the eyeshadow. 
See? So your eyeshadow is basically going to stick to this concealer. Just be very patient with this. I am never patient, but I'm trying to be. So I'm going to take this Morocco shade and a medium sweeper brush. I'm gonna apply here in the transition between this golden lid shade and the outer V. See? Now I'm going back to the Coco Bear and I'm just gonna go over this shade that we just applied. To blend even more. Short Shader Brush E20. I'm just gonna apply onto my bottom lash line. For that, I'm gonna take this Jouer um, Slim Cream Eyeliner in Matte Black. I'm applying it onto my waterline. Now I'm taking the Morocco again, like that. And now I'm taking the Eye of Horus Goddess Mascara and I'm gonna apply it on my upper and my bottom lashes. I decided to go with Monaco from Lily Lashes. Let's just try them on real quick. Oh, yeah, definitely. I just applied my lashes and um, Wait, 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 wait. Okay, now I'm going back to the highlighter and I'm using the same shade from here and I'm gonna pop it here like that. Okay, so before I add any glitter, I'm going to do, I'm gonna do my lips first and I'm using the new lip liner from Gerard Cosmetics in shade Sugar and Spice and the Afra Liquid Lipstick with Nikki Tutorials as well in shade Nude Potion. Mm, see that? It's like really light. And I always blend my lipstick with my fingers. Congrats, Nikki. This is an amazing shade. Oh my God. It's gonna be one of my favorites, definitely, for this spring summertime. Okay, so now it's time for the fun part. Um, okay, so I'm going to take this two uh, glitter shades from Glitter Injections. They don't actually have a name, but one is like light gold, like silver gold, and one is like orangey kind of gold, and I'm gonna mix them together to create this something beneath, somethings. It's half creamy, so it's gonna stick by itself. Let's try first. <gasps> Go all the way to here. <gasps> Looks so good. I'm gonna top the other, like orangey kind of gold on top. Basically, I'm just pressing it into the skin. I'm sorry guys, I'm gonna be annoying, but <laughs> This is like so fucking cute. I don't even know what kind of shape I'm going for, but I'm just gonna let it. Right there, right there. Okay, this is something already. Okay, so now I'm going to use the stars, and these are the ones that I picked from local hobby store. So, let me just, okay, never mind. Bad idea. I'm just gonna put the glue here on the back of my lash package. I'm just gonna use my tweezers for this. Right on top of that. Okay, I'm just gonna randomly place them everywhere around. And you know what? I think I'm gonna place them on my collarbones as well.
freaking cute. You know what? Yeah, I think this is gonna be it, but I also decided to take this glitter again. I'm going to apply the glitter all the way here. So that's it guys, the tutorial is done. This is the finished result. I hope you love it and if you do, please like and comment down below. Honestly, I'm super happy that spring is here and that I had opportunity to do this kind of makeup and that the festivals are here. People are also cheered up and blah, blah, blah. Um, also, so yeah, um, if you're going to Coachella or any music festival, um, please do something really fun because yeah, people are not gonna look at you like you're some crazy psycho. So yeah. Do your thing. Do something fun overall, okay? See you in my next tutorial. It's gonna be up very, very, very soon. I promise you guys. And that would be it. Thank you so much for watching again and peace out.